Hello everybody, I like to give you a short update of the second part I produced about harvesting energy from a Tesla coil. We will um, try to illuminate the halogen bulb directly from the Tesla coil and then we're gonna use um, my new build converter which is um, um, transformer, special transformer. Then we look at the performance of it. And uh, yes, see what we can take from the results and how we can proceed to the next phase. So we start with spawning through and 50 volt here on the system. Now if I energize it, you can see here is quite a lot of energy and on the halogen bulb nothing happens. Let me go through the frequency up, further up. So I set it to 50 volt, but I have um, the current locked in. That means it will not do anything. You can see something happens here. So we have voltage on, I, on one, channel one is voltage, channel two is current and here mass is um, calculated to the power between 1 and 2 and all is in RMS and specific also in uh, um, the exact measurement of RMS that's why the power result is much lower than we had before because before we had peak to peak so here we take in each little wave along the frequency thousands of measurements position to the current and position to the voltage and that becomes then the average um, divided um, or uh, no, divided by um, the RMS value 1.14 so this is um, very important so that we have uh, an idea so I go here through all the frequencies going up. Something happens here, but you will see on the halogen bulb nothing happens. So this is a standard output of a Tesla coil, which cannot drive because of its properties any kind of flow resistance load, like heater or a normal filament bulb, filament bulbs or a halogen bulb. It's impossible to drive from a Tesla coil, so you need to do a couple of tricks to do that. Let me go further up. You see, we have a lot of um, combinations in the harmonics where we have a lot of power output, like this one, for example, 230 watt. So the power is there, however, it cannot be used by the load. Let's go further up. go 300 watt input power is about 15 16 watt as you can see here so up another one a good one is one um, I'm gonna use later on when I use it with my transformer here we go that is around the values 308 I use the frequency about 350 see how that comes up here no that is the frequency um, which is later on important when we connect the transformer so let's move over to the transformer so here you can see the transformer I did build is directly connected to the Tesla coil on the backhand side on the front side is the output, nothing else in between, just using this, going directly to the load. Now, let's see how that looks like. Starting at 50 kilohertz and 50 volt. Now, let's have a look. Well, already 
have some light here. Um, let's move up the frequency. Uh, that is a strong one here, around 70. Go further up. as well. This one yeah quite good over 100 110 watt input power 315 watt at the moment brightness is fairly low let's go up 100 That's strong again, 120. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Go up, first up. So let's go to the frequency I discovered as being a good frequency between the transformer and the Tesla coil. Go. So the output here on the watch is a bit lower, but let's get it up. I can get full brightness here from the bulb and here if you take if you take 90 volt for example I have over 300 watt coming into the circuit and on input side about 56 watt So it can go up, let's say, if I go to 100 volt. Yes, it would be about 75, 76 watt. It's very, very bright. It says about 370 watt um, circulating through the circuit. So ideally it would be here go to 200 watt um, and 200 volt input going up to 150 watt. That should give me about uh, one kilowatt on output, and that would be a good result. So this bulb is very, very bright. Can measure the temperature currently from the bulb, possible. So I measure here the probe goes about 80 watt, 80, 80 degree, 90 degree temperature Celsius. So the idea is. To get this energy transformed into a heating element I want to build and see how we can take it from there and I would like to heat some water so it should give me some better measurements also it, it's easier for me to adapt this load um, accurately to the frequency here with the halogen bulb I have not much possibility to enhance um, the load any further but I assume that it will be possible with my heating element so that will be the next video I will take. Thank you.